Good morning and welcome to worship. Uh, today is uh, the Sunday pre preceding Memorial Day, um, and so let's make sure we take time during this day to remember the uh, people that have served to allow us to be able to worship uh, in the ways that we do worship and also uh, think about the importance of the Decoration Day, Memorial Day uh, in uh, all of our lives and the lives before us. Also today is Pentecost and as you see in your uh, worship folder, uh, we finished Easter last week and Pentecost is uh, the 50 days after, in the fifth, after the 50 days of Easter. The Spirit arrives in rushing wind and flame, bringing God's presence to all people. Paul reminds us that though we each have different capacities, we are unified in the Spirit that equips us with these gifts. Jesus breathes the Holy Spirit on his disciples, empowering them to forgive us and to forgive sin. We celebrate that we too are given the breath of the Holy Spirit and sent out to proclaim God's redeeming love to all the world. Today, if you look at your announcements, um, we're going to have an abbreviated service, uh, trying something different uh, as we uh, uh, begin the journey into summer. Uh, not that the summer services are going to be abbreviated, you just never know. It's, uh, uh, it's going to be a potluck summer, too. So after church, we do have a potluck brunch. Uh, those that are uh, interested, please stick around, enjoy some fellowship and some uh, good eats. Uh, I saw people sampling illegally already out there. Uh, for those things, you have to ask forgiveness yourself. Um, our prayers go out to the Bagastos family, uh, Jim and Cindy and Nikki, at the loss of Linda. Uh, Linda passed away this last week, and uh, the funeral service will be here this coming Wednesday. Um, so keep them in your prayers as they uh, go through that time of loss. Anything else for announcements today? Uh, oh, last song. On uh, 627, uh, O Day Full of Grace, uh, the goal was to sing, there's an alternate fourth verse in the hymnal. We have the, the verses printed in the bulletin, but uh, we had a uh, mistake and we printed the fourth verse twice. So if you want to sing the fourth verse twice, you do that. But it, uh, otherwise, open your hymnal and to 627. When we get to the fourth verse, um, somebody's going to jump up and sing real loud the alternate verse and everybody join in. Okay? So we'll get through it. Um, thank you and uh, uh, please join me in prayer. Let us pray. O oh God, on this day you open the hearts of your faithful people by sending into us your Holy Spirit. Direct us by the light of that Spirit that we may have a right judgment in all things and rejoice at all times in your peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We'll start with uh, the first two verses of God of Tempest, hymn number 400.
morning. Please forgive some of the enunciation that I'll have in some of these. So, Our first reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. When the day of the Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there came a sound like a rush of violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And, as, and at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native tongue of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they, will, they shall prophesy. And I, and I will show portents in heaven above and signs on earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on my name of the Lord shall be saved. The second lesson today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 3b through 13. No one can say, Jesus is Lord, except by the Holy Spirit. Then there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them and everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, 
and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same spirit, to another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one spirit, to another working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discernment of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues, all these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individ individually, just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one Spirit we are all baptized into one body. Jesus are Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Here ends the second lesson. The Gospel is John 20, 19 through 23. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I sent you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven, 
they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Here ends the reading. Take time to collect the morning offering.
please join me in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right, right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For now is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The God of all who raised Jesus from the dead, bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit to live in the new creation. Amen. As we get ready to sing the last song, remember it's 627 in your hymnal. We're going to do alternate verse number four. Is it three, four, and alternate, or what is that? How's that? Paragraph form in your hymnal. Okay. Also recall, after church, everyone's welcome to participate in fellowship and potluck. It smells good, it looks good, it will be good. So, let's go. Go in peace, serve the risen one. Amen.